Your voice, your vote coverage continues tonight with our series of interviews with candidates in local races. Last night we heard from Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers and tonight her Democratic challenger in the 5th District Congressional race, Joe Picotis, joins us now live in our studio to answer your questions. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good we, to be with you. Good to have you here. We went to our face, my Facebook page actually, and asked our viewers and our listeners on News Radio 920 questions yeah. to ask you. So this is all their questions for you, as we did last night with the Congresswoman. Great. So first one, I've kind of combined two questions. Angela asks, "What budget cuts are you going to make?" And Cindy says, "How would you have handled the budget crisis differently than McMorris Rogers?" I thought they were a little bit. I wanted to combine yeah, those two. Yeah, that's, that's a real tough uh, question. Good mm -hmm. question. I would have to take a look at the budget myself and see exactly where the cuts wouldn't um, impact the, the citizens as much. And I do have some experience in budgeting. Mm -hmm. I've uh, got 30 years of business experience and that's where I would draw some of that um, on, would be looking back at that. And I would take a little time to take a look at some of the programs and, and see where the wasteful spending is. Do you think there is room for cuts? Uh, I believe there would be, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, um, in all governments there is. There's, yeah. there's usually some wasteful spending someplace along the line, and that's what we'd look at first. Okay. Camille says, how does your experience in business translate into legislation on a national level? Yeah, I do have some experience also in, in uh, government, uh, yeah. tribal government, and we've dealt with the uh, federal government also in, in some of the legislation that we dealt with as, as uh, tribal council members and chairmen. And I do have 30 years of experience, and I'm born and raised right here in eastern Washington, and I understand the needs of many of our communities around here. So I would draw upon that also and take a look at, um, you know, where um, that experience would be coming in and dra drafting up any kind of legislation and uh, getting a lot of input from the, the members and citizens here in eastern Washington. What kind of legislation would you go after? Well, I, I think, you know, toughening up or maybe clearing up some of the Medi Medicaid mm -hmm. um, legislation, looking at some of the um, Social Security there and th those various areas like that, that that's in the news today. Mm -hmm. And that's constantly talked about on a daily basis and, and that you're seeing in the news. So those would be areas that we look at as far as um, writing some legislation or clearing up or, or mm -hmm. stiffening up some of the penalties in certain areas. Dean says, what is your position on the current militarization of law enforcement? That, that's kind of a touchy one. And, and you know, it, seeing some of the activity that's going on in the United States today and some of the law enforcement and sometimes when they receive this military um, excess equipment and weapons and that uh, you know I, I just think that there needs to be more transparency mm -hmm. more regulations on how the police departments are going to react and how they're going to treat that type of equipment okay Jerry asks and I thought this one was kind of interesting. What is your main issue, the one thing you think should sway 5th District voters to vote for you instead of Congressman McMorris Rogers? Congresswoman. I think the job creation. Mm -hmm. I have created jobs in my uh, business world that we're in today. Um, and as I said, I do understand the needs in our communities um, growing up right here in eastern Washington. And I think that would be the main area that I'd be looking at. And creating jobs. What and, kind of uh, jobs? Well, it might be construction jobs. Mm -hmm. Those are well-paying jobs, and there's a lot of construction that is needed around here. And, you know, the, our crumbling infrastructure is, is one place that we'd be taking a look at. And also maybe finishing up some of the, the unfinished paved highways around here. And, and the North South areas, Freeway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dave wants to know, are all gun control laws unconstitutional? No. No, I don't believe they are. If you read the Constitution, it talks about well-regulated militia. That's the first first uh, lines in there, and, and it, it says regulated. Mm. So there is um, requirements for regulations in that. So not all gun laws are unconstitutional. All right. Thank you. Joe Bacotis, the Democratic challenger in the 5th District Congressional Race. Thanks for joining us tonight on the KXOY4 studio. And you can watch all of our interviews uh, anytime. We posted them on our website, kxoy.com.